Hi, this is Aprajita from Avaya Serviceability Engineering team. In this video, we will learn how to configure Proactive Outreach Manager 2.0 Dialog Designer applications via the command line interface. POM 2.0 comes with a DD application package that can be installed either on primary or on auxiliary EPM and it installs the following applications. Its main application is POM driver application which is a CCXML based application. It always invokes this application while making any outbound and for this it uses Experience Portal Manager's outbound web service. If you don't configure this application, POM cannot make any outbound calls. Another application is Avaya POM Notify. It's a dialog designer voice XML application which is used to play voice notifications. Avaya POM Agent which is again a dialog designer VXML application which can be used to play notifications and also it can transfer a call to an agent. Avaya POM Announcement application for running any announcement type of campaigns. It is used to play any pre-recorded prompts. All these applications are delivered in a WAR format. These WAR files are available under $POM home slash DD apps folder. If you need to deploy any of these applications on the application server, one way is to take these WAR files from this folder and deploy them on the application server using standard deployment method for an app server. And another way is by using insert POM DD apps.sh script provided by POM under $POM slash bin directory, which we will be covering in this demonstration. Let us begin with logging into Experience Portal Manager's web administration using username admin and its password. This home page shows Proactive Outreach Manager as one of the installed components here. So let's go to Applications under System Configurations to see the applications configured. This application page is not showing any of the POM applications being configured for the system. So let's go to the command line interface of the Experience Portal Manager where our POM server is running. Login here is Craft and its password. Then we need root privileges to run the script. So do su slash root. Do cd dollar pom home slash bin directory. When we do ls to list the files here, we can see insert underscore pom underscore dd underscore apps dot ss script. So let's run this script now. By giving dot slash the script name. It's an interactive script. So give VPMS web admin username first, then its password. It asks to re-enter the password for this user. Now enter the IP address of the VPMS application server configured. It says it has added POM application, POM driver app, Avaya POM notifier, Avaya POM announcement and Avaya POM agent successfully. Now let's go back to Experience Portal Manager's web administration. Go back to Applications under System Configuration. If you notice here, this page is showing all the POM related applications configured for the system successfully. So this completes our demonstration of configuring POM applications through command line interface. I hope this information was helpful. Thank you for watching. For any questions, comments or feedback, please write to mentor at avaya.com or follow us on Twitter at avaya mentor. Thank you for choosing avaya.